I'm kind of riding the coattails of the video we made a few days ago where we talked about the Ottawa Senators and how they might draft two times in the top six of the 2020 NHL entry draft. Now, the only reason I say might and not absolutely will is because if the NHL season comes back and some teams start winning some more games, that standing could change. But the way things are right now, the Ottawa Senators can either get two of Lafreniere, Byfield, Rossi, Stutzla, Raymond, Holtz, Askarov, Drysdale. It's going to be insane. And a lot of that does have to do with a trade that was made at the beginning of the 2018-19 season that I, in retrospect, was kind of wrong about. Now, I say kind of and not entirely, because the way I'm going to label it right here, I think you can make an argument that what I was talking about almost two years ago in regards to the trade does have some sense of truth, but in hindsight, the Ottawa Senators kind of were the victors here. I'm talking about the Eric Carlson trade, a trade that back when it was made on September 13th, 2018, I called it a terrible trade. I said that it was so bad that the Ottawa Senators just screwed themselves for the long-term future. The reason I said that is because Eric Carlson at the time was seen as arguably the best defender in the NHL. He was coming off of a 62-point campaign in 71 games, and that was a disappointing number for the Swedish D-man. He had 82 points in 82 games two seasons prior to that one, and a lot of people were saying that when Carlson could get traded, he would fetch an enormous return. But that's not what the San Jose Sharks gave up. Instead, they gave up a somewhat measly return of Chris Tierney, Rudolph Balzers, Dylan DeMello, Josh Norris, a first in 2019 or 2020, a second round pick in 2019, and two other conditional draft picks. This was in exchange for Eric Carlson, a 28-year-old franchise-defining defenseman, and Francis Perron. Now, back when this trade was made, I freaked out, and everybody in my comment section freaked out as well. Some of the comments were actually really funny. You can take a look at the top one over here. When you're playing shell and get offered a trade and accidentally press accept and you forget to save so you have to deal with it. Funny stuff, right? Eric Carlson was a guy who, even though he was in a contract year, the perception around the league for fans, media, and teams was that he was going to fetch gold. And for the most part, DeMello, Tierney, Norris, and a whole bunch of draft picks wasn't really seen as gold. Where was the Tomas Hurdle? Where was the Logan Couture? Where was the Jeremy Waugh or the Ryan Merkley? Where was the big name player in this deal? Josh Norris was the biggest name player, and he wasn't really a guy who was earth-shatteringly good. And that's kind of why I don't want to say that I was completely wrong about this trade back when it happened, because... The trade value of Eric Carlson back then was so much higher than what the perceived value of Tierney, DeMello, Norris, and draft picks were. People were saying everywhere, you could have gotten more. This player could have fetched you a lot more because he was the best defender in the league, or one of, if not the absolute best. So in that respect, I don't want to say that I was wrong in saying that the Senators kind of screwed themselves because it wasn't enough of a package to warrant Eric Carlson, but I want to say that I got things wrong on how the Ottawa Senators would proceed forward, because the Senators after this trade were kind of bad. They were really bad. And in fact, I said that the biggest winner of the Eric Carlson trade two years ago was the Colorado Avalanche, because the Avalanche had the Ottawa Senators 2019 first round pick, which ended up becoming Bowen Byram fourth overall. But now, oh boy, now things are looking interesting in Ottawa. We already talked about the potential of getting two of Lafreniere, Byfield, Stutzla, Raymond, etc. But the thing is... The majority of that has to do with the first round pick that the San Jose Sharks gave up. San Jose was willing to give up a first because they didn't realize 
that they were going to become terrible after acquiring Eric Carlson and after signing Eric Carlson to an eight-year contract worth $11.5 million each year with a no-move clause too. Eric Carlson just wrapped up the first season of that contract, getting 40 points in 56 games. Now that's not terrible. Obviously, 40 points in 56 games, if you do the math on that and you times it all out, that's crazy, crazy good. But for $11.5 million, for a guy who is, he's 29, he's going to be 30 in a month, and who's going to be under contract for the next seven years? On a team that's already one of the worst in the league today? What's going on? San Jose, what's going on, man? Are you okay? You have Brent Burns and Eric Carlson, and the team just can't find ways to win. Martin Jones is not the Martin Jones that stole games a few years ago. And from a hindsight's point of view on the Eric Carlson trade, to me, almost everything came together perfectly for the Ottawa Senators. They give up on Eric Carlson, who now is worth $11.5 million a year, but he's not really the same Eric Carlson that he was before. They get a boatload of draft picks. They get Tierney, DeMello, Norris, etc., who granted, they're not worth the value of an Eric Carlson in 2018, but the fact that that first round pick is going to be a top five, potential top six NHL draft pick is insane. What the Ottawa Senators traded when they traded Eric Carlson, not only was just Eric Carlson, it was the future attached to Eric Carlson. And what they traded for was not just a Balzers, a Tierney, a DeMello, and a Norris. It was the possibility of getting a future filled with Brady Kachuk, Alexi Lafreniere, Quinton Byfield, two of those guys all together combined with the Brady Kachuk, the Lassie Thompson, all the players that they had in the past. This Ottawa Senators team had just completely lucked themselves into one of the brightest futures in the NHL. And in order to do that, they traded away who was probably the best defenseman in the NHL at the time. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Eric Carlson trade honestly is looking very good for Canada's capital right now. It sucks to say for San Jose Sharks fans, you guys deserve so much better after giving up what was apparently a very minor package for Eric freaking Carlson. The possibilities of Carlson and Burns playing together enamored the entire NHL and had people glamoring over who was going to win more Norrises first. But that didn't happen. This team has kind of collapsed, and it's gotten to a point where even with Eric Carlson, they're so bad that their first round pick that they don't have anymore is going to give Ottawa the opportunity to become amazing in as little time as the next two to three years. If this Ottawa Senators team gets Lafreniere and Byfield, imagine these guys playing on a line with Brady Kachuk or whatever. Move somebody to the right wing spot and have Lafreniere, Byfield make your team day one. What about getting that Jamie Drysdale to play alongside of Thompson, Bronstrom, and Shabbat? This team has so many incredible possibilities for its future, and a lot of that does have to do with the trade that I said was so bad two years ago, and that you said was so bad two years ago, and to an extent still could be defined as bad because Carlson could arguably could have been worth much more than what the Ottawa Senators have received. But, in hindsight... Would you rather have seven more years of an $11.5 million 40-point error Carlson or the possibility of Lafreniere and Byfield or two of Raymond and Holtz and Stutzla and Rossi and Askarov? There are options, and all Ottawa has to do is wait for their name to be called at the 2020 NHL Entry Draft. So with that, I leave the floor to you. Comment down below what you think about the Eric Carlson trade, the implications it's had today, how things have been so different than what we could have imagined, and how blessed the Ottawa Senators are to have made that trade today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Social Network, Trolls 99. 
and bye. <laughs>